Um, hi everyone. So in this video, I will solve this circuit and find its transfer function that is being specified here as I1 of S over I0 of S. So as you can see, the um, circuit is already in the S domain. So I don't have to go to the S domain as I'm already in it. Uh, I only need to find the relationship between I1 and I0. So as I mentioned earlier in class and in previous videos, you can always um, use whatever circuit analysis that you're comfortable with and it doesn't have to be only one type of circuit analysis. So for example, you can use KCL and KVL at the same time in the same circuit in order to find its transfer function. And this is the case for this question as well. So in this question, I will use both KVL and KCL in order to find the relationship between I1 and I0. All right, so at this point here, we can write the KCL in order to find the relationship between these currents. So I can see that IO is entering the node while I1 and I2 are leaving the node. So I O is equal to I1 plus I2. Now, I still do not have any relationship between I O and I1 because I do have I2 here. So I have to somehow get rid of I2. Okay, and how can I get rid of I2? I can substitute it with an equation which is describing I2 in terms of I O and I, I1 that I'm looking for. All right. So let me look at the currents inside these two loops. So what is the current in this loop? So the current in this loop, as it is shown here, is I O or I0. And then the current inside this loop, so the current inside this loop is the current that is passing through the capacitor and the um, two ohm resistor. So as you can see, it is I2. Right. So then I can write the KVL in the um, second mesh. All right. So I will have four. Uh, actually, let me add four and S. So I'm adding um, the this resistor and this inductor because they are in series and I already have their impedances. So I can add them together, multiply by the current passing through these two, I2 minus I1, uh, I2 minus I0 actually, plus 1 over 2S multiplied by I2 plus 2I2 two is equal to 0. So this is the KVL in the mesh. that has current I2. Okay, so it's obvious that if I simplify the second equation, I can write I2 in terms of I0, right? So I will keep all my I2s on the left-hand side and I'll take whatever is left to the right-hand side. So I'm gonna have four plus S plus 1 over 2s plus 2 multiplied by i2 that is going to be equal to 4 plus s multiplied by i0 all right so i will um, add the terms inside this parenthesis and take the common denominator so i'm going to have 2s here we're going to have 8s plus 2 um, S squared plus 1 plus 4 S multiplied by I2 that is going to be equal to 4 plus S multiplied by I0. So why am I doing this? Because I need to find I2 from this equation and substitute it in equation number 1 up here. Alright, so here I'm going to have 2 S squared plus 12 S plus 1 over 2s that multiplied by i2 is equal to 4 plus s multiplied by i0 and from here i2 
is equal to 2s multiplied by 4 plus s over 2s squared plus 12s plus 1, i, 0. Okay, so now I have the equation for I2. I can substitute this equation, I2, in equation number 1. And then this way I can get rid of um, my I2, and I'm going to have a relationship between I0 and I1, which is what I'm looking for, the transfer function. So let me do that. So we said we will put I2 here in this equation. So that would be I1 plus, this is 8s plus 2s squared. Um, over 2s squared plus 12s plus 1, I0. Okay, so I have to have my I zeros on one side and then I one on the other side, then I can find the relationship. So I will take my I zeros to the left. So I'm going to have I zero multiplied by 2s squared plus 12s plus 1 minus 8s minus 2s2. All of these over 2s squared plus 12s plus 1. That is equal to I1. So here 2s squared will be cancelled with this minus 2s squared. So I'll be left with I0 multiplied by or I0 multiplied by 4s plus 1 over 2s squared plus 12s plus 1. That is equal to I1. And I know that the transfer function that I'm looking for is equal to I1 of s over I0 of s. So I only have to divide um, this equation over here, both sides of this equation, by I0. And then I'm going to be left with 4s plus 1 over 2s squared plus 12s plus 1. All right. So in this question, you saw that you had the circuit already in the S domain. Okay, sometimes I may give you a, a circuit that is in the T domain. And then if I ask you to write its transfer function, you have to go to the S domain first. And when you are going to the S domain, don't forget that you have to be careful about the initial conditions of the capacitor and the inductor, unless I tell you that they are zero. All right, so if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.